Nonstop local news for Maryland, Virginia, and Washington, D.C. This is News Channel 8. Well, a lot of kids dream of becoming airline pilots, but if you have diabetes, forget about it, right? Well, maybe not, thanks to the efforts of groups like Diabetes Formation Flight USA. And joining us now with more is Maryland pilot Jason Harmon. Good morning. Good morning, Kathy. So this issue hits very close to home because you were diagnosed with diabetes in your teens, and you had yes. this love of you know being a, a pilot one day. So tell us how this kind of hits close to home for you. Well, it hits very close to home, uh, as you mention I was diagnosed right after high school. I had already uh, achieved my private pilot's license with the plans of going into the military mm -hmm. as a military pilot. Uh, and when I was diagnosed, uh, it was a, a blanket ban. Uh, any insulin using di uh, person with diabetes was not allowed FAA medical mm -hmm. certification. And a lot of that was because back then you had to use devices that were not really uh, suitable for in-flight blood sugar testing and the fear is that with uh, someone with diabetes you could have a higher low blood sugar and incapacitate the pilot. These old devices took about two minutes. Mm -hmm. In the mid-90s with, with smaller devices, more modern ones that can do a uh, blood sugar check in about five seconds, it became very feasible to do in-flight blood sugar testing and in 1996 the FAA started allowing private pilots, not commercial pilots, with well-controlled insulin treated diabetes to fly and uh, so since then I've been back in the air not commercially but uh, privately and have joined a, a number of other pilots uh, to, to spread the word that with good management uh, you still can fly and in some cases we've even enabled for example Canada and the UK are now allowing commercial pilots with well-controlled diabetes to fly. And you also took it to a whole nother level with your company and a new technology that can work in the air as well. A absolutely. So uh, part of uh, uh, my background after I knew I would not become a professional mm -hmm. pilot is I uh, went into software engineering, something that had been a hobby previously. And uh, the company I started with my partners, Get Real Health uh, in Rockville, creates uh, software to allow uh, the help with the management of chronic conditions like diabetes. So this data that we're collecting with the meters can be shared with the patient uh, and the physicians to help them uh, manage uh, the condition better. And this weekend, you hope to send a message to the FAA. What event will you be a part of? Well, this weekend uh, in uh, from Lincoln, Nebraska, Nebraska to Iowa City, Iowa, I'm going to be part of uh, Diabetes Formation Flight, which is going to be a group of uh, five pilots with type, uh, type 1 diabetes, mm -hmm. like myself, who are all going to be flying in formation. And our purpose is to show uh, to that to people with diabetes that diabetes need not limit the scope of their dreams and ambitions, that if they maintain tight control of their diabetes, that they can do things that they may not have uh, thought they would otherwise be able to do. And also to show that the, the, the tools that we have now, we even have continuous glucose monitors like this that are constantly monitoring my blood sugar mm -hmm. level, uh, that, that with the modern tools, it's very easy to do things like flying safely with diabetes. Overcoming challenges. Jason Harmon, thank you so much for stopping by and hopefully thank clear you. skies this coming weekend for your flight. Thank you.